back, y'all. We got an old topic to revisit today: the DIY top water popper using a wine cork. Um, if you haven't seen that video, you can scroll down to the bottom of my channel. It's one of the first ones I did. Uh, but I had a couple of comments that came in from Fly Tire 1948. Shout out to you. Uh, commenting about my my carving method, I use uh, razor blades to be able to carve. The wine corks he was suggesting maybe to try a dremel tool so we're going to give that a shot today um, i'm using instead of a dremel a fordham flex shaft tool uh, this i use for my metal work but i i prefer it because as you can see there it's got a chuck to be able to put your bits in uh, and you're using a chuck key like you often do with a, uh, a drill press or certain hand drills uh, that don't have um, the, the hand tight chuck um, but in, in this case I prefer uh, this to the, the uh, collet system like you have with the um, Dremel hand pieces that you're limited to the, the size of bits that you can put in this this will handle anything from larger drill bits that are even larger than the Dremel uh, bits themselves or we can uh, take it down to like the tiniest little drill bit to be able to chuck those in. So I'm going to be uh, using a carving bit like this and we'll see how it goes here. So that works pretty well Flat Tire 1948. Uh, if you want to read some more details about his methods uh, you can look in that uh, original DIY topwater popper video and he goes into detail in the comments about uh, what he does with his Dremel tool but I've put a taper in the cork I've carved out the mouth the only thing that you didn't see me do was run this wire with an eye twisted in the end of it uh, and that little red bead that I added to the mouth uh, down through here so this is going to help with the next step which is painting but first I'm going to carve out some little eye holes in the side there all right, for carving the eyeball holes into the side of the cork, measure the diameter of the eyeball that you're going to use. I'm going to use these largest ones that I have down here at the bottom, and then match yourself a drill bit that has the same diameter as that eyeball. You can err a little bit on the side of larger to make it uh, a good fit, and then we're going to go back in and seal them in with UV resin after we paint. But you don't need power for this. Um, the cork is so soft that if you just sit on your mark with a drill bit and twist it back and forth, it's going to remove material and you'll be able to seat your eyeball down into that hole. So let's get to paint. So we went with black. Uh, I think that was the right choice. Um, I like the, the contrast that it has with the cork mouth opening at the front. I think I'm going to just leave it natural cork like that. And I like the, the glisten of that red bead that's in the mouth. So I think the, the right choice is to go with red eyeballs, right? So see if we can find a couple red eyeballs in here. All right, we got the uh, eyeballs added now. You can uh, see they're, they're cured, slightly reflective. And I'm going to add this uh, four-rod hook on the back of this thing. We'll have it articulated. Just make sure when you're doing this that you've got a pair of uh, round nose pliers and that helps to uh, make that formation there on the back. So generally I make one loop and then I start to bring this top part around like so. And if you've got another pair of pliers to help you pull tighter, that's even better. I'd say add at least three wraps with the wire before you cut it off. And now it is completely articulated. Uh, I like this uh, top water proper 2.0 a lot better. I'm going to tie some uh, feathers on now.
Alright, well here she is, the uh, articulated top water popper. I was going to say 2.0, I think I did earlier, but uh, I believe I actually did a 2.0 at some point with a different hook style, and uh, so this would technically be the 3.0, but I'm pretty happy with it. As you can see, that articulated tail there on the back really has just like a natural flopping, flitting action. Uh, I think it's going to be great on top water for waggling back and forth. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you want to see finished photos of this, you can check it on my Instagram, which is at bhi.flies.